everyone, Mark McElroy from Patriot Electronic Security Systems here. I'm going to jump right into the topic of the day, and that is home security alarm system monitoring and how security systems communicate with a central station. Now this video is kind of a complement to last week's video which compared having your security system monitored by a central station as opposed to monitoring it yourself. And I'm going to put a link to that video down in the description of this video in case you haven't seen that video yet. In this video, we're going to discuss only central station monitoring and the choices you have today on how your security system notifies the central station of an event. And we'll discuss the advantages and disadvantages of each method. Basically, there are three different types of technology today's security systems can utilize to call a central monitoring station. One is what is called a POTS line. That's POTS, P-O-T-S. And it's an acronym that stands for Plain Old Telephone Service. It's the phone service all of us over 40 grew up with. The second is internet reporting. Basically, your security system reports to the central station using your broadband internet connection. And finally, there is cellular and wireless technology that the systems can utilize uh, for central station communications. Now, technically, when I say cellular and wireless technology, there are, these are two different technologies. One is the well-established cellular network we have developed in this country, and the other is a private two-way radio communication technology. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to combine these together because other than cost, their advantages and disadvantages are basically the same. Now, let's start with the POTS line. Like I said before, this is the plain old telephone service. It's the means by which virtually every alarm system in America called the central station 10 or 12 years ago. Its advantage is that it's remarkably reliable. You pick up the receiver and you can bet the ranch that a dial tone is going to be there. Most alarm systems that utilize this technology have the ability to monitor the condition of the phone line and warn the home resident or business owner if there is a problem on the line. Also, virtually all alarm systems use, utilizing this method of communications have a feature called line seizure. This feature allows the security system, when installed correctly, to capture the phone line if anyone was on it or if there was a receiver off the hook at the time it had to make a call. It would then reset the line to obtain a dial tone and make its call undisturbed to the central station. The disadvantages of this method are that it is relatively slow and it is easy to disable from the outside of the house. All you need is a pair of wire cutters. Though, like I said before, many systems have the ability to inform you that the line's been cut, but that doesn't do you any good if you're not at home at the time. Another disadvantage of this method is, as this country is rapidly switching from POT service to voice over IP technology for its telephone service needs, we have discovered that the old POTS modems built into security systems do not work well with voice over IP service. Now this is such an important point that I'll be making a video dedicated to this topic alone in the very near future. The next method of communication we're going to discuss is internet communications, also known as IP communications. With this method, your security system utilizes your constant broadband internet connection to communicate with the central station. The advantages to this method is speed and readiness for voice over IP uh, migration. Addressing speed, instead of waiting for the POTS modem to dial the phone, then waiting for the central station modem to answer the call, then wait for the two modems to handshake to establish communications, and then finally transmit the alarm message to the central station, your security system just transmits a few kilobytes of data, which over a broadband uh, connection is a blink of an eye, to the central station and boom, your alarm messages have been sent. Addressing the voice over IP migration readiness advantage, this communication method gets you off the old POTS line. So if you have already switched your phone service to voice over IP or will be doing so in the future, your alarm system is not affected by the change. The disadvantages to this communication method is it is still susceptible to being disabled when 
an outside cable has been cut or damaged and it may be a little more expensive than older POTS, uh, POTS line reporting methods. Finally, there is cellular wireless communications. With this method, your alarm system utilizes a cellular or wireless radio to communicate with the central station. In my opinion, this is the best form of central station communications you can have. Why? Because the advantages are it does not depend on an outside cable for its communication path. You can't physically cut the line on a cellular or wireless radio. Furthermore, the radio's power is backed up by the backup battery of the alarm system. So even if someone somehow kills the power to the home, the system will still work for a period of several hours. The disadvantages to this method of reporting are, one, it's wireless, and it just doesn't have that rock solid reliability of a wired connection, assuming the wired cable isn't damaged or cut. Now I don't even like bringing that up as a disadvantage because technology has gotten wireless to a very, very reliable point, but just not quite as rock solid as wired. And the second disadvantage is that it's the most expensive of the communication methods to use. You are utilizing the cellular network for your communication path and you have to pay for the use of that network. This concludes our discussion about home security alarm system monitoring and how security systems communicate with a central station. I'm Mark McElroy from Patriot Electronic Security Systems. For notifications on our upcoming videos, please subscribe to this channel. And we ask you to visit us at our website, www.patriotsecuritysystems.com. Stay safe.